What it do, what it is, man. You're back with your boy Billionaire Charlie, man. Best YouTuber out here, man. You feel what I'm saying? I come directly at you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But look, man. I just want to have a conversation with y'all, man. I told y'all we on this health journey uh, together, man. I'm fa I fast for a whole day already, man. This is my second day, you know what I'm saying? Drinking on this green juice. <laughs> you see I'm glowing. You see that skin glowing, right? You know what I'm saying? It would look though, man. I got some good products for for this health journey we on, man. Right there in the description box. If you're trying to fast with me, try to burn a couple of calories off. You know what I'm saying? I got to get me some more sea moss though. You know what I'm saying? But I got a whole bunch of good stuff down there in the link, man. You know what I'm saying? My stuff be coming in real soon. And if you're trying to make some extra money, man, I got the programs right there in the link below, man. You know what I'm saying? Get your cards ready. Swipe, swipe. Go ahead to sign up for the program so you can get that extra cash, man. <clears throat> well, then, anyway, man, long story. Let's get to the, let's get to the, let's get to the story. Okay. <laughs> Pop smoke. You know what I'm saying? Casanova. This the thing that be killing me about this, man. Like, I don't know if they're doing it for the clout or is it real stigma. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's really going on, man? <laughs> I'm like, man, I never understand it, man. First of all, GQ Casanova, I ain't, I don't even hear from him since. They, they, they say he got hospitalized or something. So I'm hoping this, this other young cat don't get hospitalized because I, I, they say G, uh, Casanova two time ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? For real, dog. You know what I'm saying? And he don't never respond back. And this shit just happening, nigga. <laughs> Like I said, I don't know who this pot smoke nigga is, man, but man, I hope he ready for for what he what he what he fucking with. You know what I'm saying? For real, man. You just say home and don't come outside and all that. This is the thing I be trying to tell y'all, man. Listen to this, man. Once you get to a certain point in your career, bro, you cannot think like that no more, bro. Like you just can't, bro. There's no way in hell, dog. I'm I'm standing on the block and I'm making millions of dollars, bro. I'm too busy making money, bro. I'm from that hood. I'm always be from that hood. But I'm not about to be sitting around talking about I'm coming outside and all this bull BS. Like, for what reason? What, like, think about this, man. True life, man. True life was buzzing, man. He was in the streets. He was thugging out. But think about it. He lost a lot of years of his life going back to the hood, doing all the shit he was doing. It's like, come on, bro. Y'all, we, we, when you get to that point where you get good money, and you can feed your family, your kids straight. What's the point of that? They were saying the same thing about the game in L.A. Like, the game don't be out here on, he ain't out here in these streets like that. Like, nigga, why would the fuck he, would he be in the streets like that? He supposed to be getting money. He ain't too busy to be sitting on somebody's corner, dog. Yeah, I, that's why I be saying. There's a difference between a person that's thinking outside the box and a person that's elevated to the next level. And once you elevate to the next level... It's no way in hell. That's like Jay-Z being in Marcy just sitting out there like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, Jay ain't. Come on, man. He might come through there here and there, but come on, man. It's like we, your whole, your whole life journey is about overcoming things and becoming better and being able to put yourself in better scenarios and situations. <laughs> so to keep, to go backwards would be dumb as hell. The same thing they were saying about Mano and shit like that. Like, bro. You got to grow up, man. You got to grow up. That shit just sounds stupid as hell, bro. I'm not about to risk millions of dollars for some dumb shit. Like, me personally, I'm like, I'm not even going to answer that individual. I'm going to just keep making my money. Like, because what do, what do it benefit me beefing with a nigga in my own what, hood, Brooklyn or whatever, for nothing? The fuck is the beef about? He a blood, he a crip. That's it. That's clout chasing to me, man. What's the real beef about? What happened? What, what make you do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's some lame nigga shit, man. Like, if you getting money and he getting money, what's the reason for you calling him whack and all of this type of shit? It's like, what's the point? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's no point of that. You know what I'm saying? Just live your life. He live his life. You get your money, he get his money. That's how I did. Think about this, man. And I'm going to say some real shit. Y'all going to feel it when I say this, bro. Master P and Birdman, right? They were from two different hoods in New Orleans, right? When you heard a Birdman, um, this is Master P. Nigga came on the interview and just said, like, 
we had our little issues, but they're not doing the clout chasing shit. Master P making fucking millions of dollars. Birdman is making millions of fucking dollars. They don't have time for childish games or childish things. It's like, man, make your money, man. Stop being on that dumb shit. You see Bobby Smurder, man. They whole team had went down. Why create that energy again? Fucking 6 9 shoddy. Whole team went the fuck down. What's the point of this shit? Like, the whole point of life is the getting out of it. The whole point of the hood is getting out of this shit and not going back. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm saying it in the sense of, like, not going back, chilling around, getting robbed and all. I'm not. I'm like, bro, I'll be tweaking with that. I'm not. I don't give a. Me, per, I don't give a F what somebody's saying, bro. I'm making millions of dollars. You think I'm coming through this motherfucker like that? Y'all niggas crazy. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas straight crazy. I'm not doing it, bro. It's a waste of time, bro. It's a waste of energy, bro. Why would you risk everything for nothing? Look at Troy Al. He, oh, uh, dope boy Troy Al, all of this. And then get, uh, what's it called? Get uh, shot up and, and laid in, laid out. And now you, uh, uh the streets is the milk. Like, you know what I'm saying? You a dope boy Troy the other day. You breaking the law. You, you walking around, they about to give you life, though. They about to give you a bunch of years. You like, no, no, no. Don't touch the fire. You testifying? Like, come on, bro. Stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. So that will always tell these people, man. If you ain't really no gangster and you ain't really what about that life, just leave that stuff alone, bro. And if you is about that life, it's time to grow. <laughs> That's this point blank period. Now, you can say what you want to say, but growing is the best thing because you just going to put yourself back in a predicament where you lose it all. The dude, what the dude was saying on um with the Shug Knight joint, right? I forget his name, man. But the old head guy, man, he was a mob pie root. He say, me, Suge, everybody, man. We end up making they made millions of dollars. Now look where we at. We all back in the hood. That's what's going to happen to niggas like that because they keep thinking stupid. Like, I'm not beefing with a nigga when I'm making millions of dollars. I don't got time for a nigga. Like, I don't, I don't even have time to have a stupid conversation like that. That's what I call stupid conversations. Because it's like, why would you even be saying that about Casanova? What's the point? Now, if he ain't even responding to saying that, it's like, bro, what is the point, bro? What is the point? It does not make sense, bro. The same thing with GK Casanova. What the fuck was he saying that stuff for? Get your money, get your bag, and keep, and feed your family. There's no point of this dumb stuff, man. Look at the whole shoddy. All them niggas gone. Mel Matrix. All them niggas gone, bro. We got to grow in the mind, bro, so we can get out of this. You can't grow. If you can't. You can't be at a stage where you making good money and still thinking like the hood nigga, bro. You ain't gonna never make it, bro. You gonna die in the street. You gotta elevate. Why Jay Z so successful? Cause he understood the concept of I'm, I used to do that. I used to sell crap, nigga. I used to rob niggas, nigga. Now I'm a better man and a better person, and I ain't for that no more, man. I'm trying to do the kind of cabinet thing where I can help my people. You can rap gangster stuff. It's entertainment. But you to be out there, oh yeah, I'm out, I'm out here, oh yeah, like that, that's lame. Then you, that, this is what they gonna do, you seen what they did, the Mo 3 and fucking uh, Yellow Beezy, they stopping niggas money. You can't come to this club and perform, we scared, y'all gonna mess the venue up. It's like you gotta think, bro, I'm not promoting beef, bro, at all, bro. You losing money when you promoting beef. Mo 3 said it, uh, uh, fucking Rallo, everybody that been promoting beef, they stop you. Oh, no, nah, bro, here. You can't come here, bro. Oh, no, nah, we don't want you at this venue. Like, come on. What's the point? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Pop some over your hat in the street. Everybody fucking with you. Cast over hat in the street. Everybody fucking with him. What's the point of the beef, man? It's no beef. It's stupid, bro. Uncle Murder beefing with fucking Casting over. What the? F like, for what, man? Y'all niggas making me easy, dog. What's the point? I can't even have a conversation with a nigga on some beef shit if I'm making that type of money. And I'm just being serious and I'm being honest, bro. Like, we got to be real with shit, bro. Like, y'all niggas crazy. Niggas dying to be in the position that y'all niggas in, man. You feel what I'm saying, man? Y'all niggas don't understand, bro. Like, everybody don't get it. Get out the hood. Everybody don't get the opportunity to have great things, man. You know what I'm saying? So, for you to be in a position, right, to have great things, man, and have a, a, a nice situation, bro. It's like, why fuck it up, bro? That's all I'm saying, bro. Why fuck it up, bro? You know what I mean? Like, 
Y'all tripping with that shit. That's weak beef, man. But this billionaire Charlie, man. Hit, go down to them links, man, and go ahead and pick up my products from Amazon store, man. And go sign up for the program. You know what I mean? Casting over two times. I love you, boy. Pop Smoke, I love you, boy. But y'all stop that clown beef shit. That ain't that ain't real nigga shit, man. Fuck that beef shit. Get money, bro. Y'all niggas get money. Don't worry about none of that dumb shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? We got too many black people locked up for some stupid shit. Y'all niggas in position to win. Win, bro. Salute.